Oh, I'm not comedy. Okay, dale. Um, thank you for coming. I know I have only uh, 10 minutes, but it's less time that we spend deciding uh, to use Sentinel with the clients. Um, in the science and technology department where I work, um, some years ago we started to deploy in a classroom, public classroom and a user's room for senior citizens. And in the first, uh, first part of the project, we deployed uh, seven uh, classroom centers. But two years ago, we uh, had the opportunity to increase, to spread in 10 more, uh, 10 more uh, classrooms across the city in different uh, centers. Um, but we have the money, to, uh, the budget for the deploy, but we don't have the budget for the maintenance. <coughs> the maintenance of, uh, of a classic classroom or user's room. And we uh, choose Sentinel in an unexpected way uh, because uh, all of our classrooms are passed on libre uh, open source, free software. Uh, free, uh, software. Uh, the <coughs> The classroom <coughs> passes in a central server uh, with the network installed and then the clients connected to the uh, central server inside the classroom. Printer, scanner, or uh, similar. And the uh, 10 and now the 17 uh, classrooms are connected using a central cloud center, is the correct <laughs> brand. Sentia Cloud. Uh, for uh, monitoring and second level maintenance uh, uh, The time and the money of the deploy uh, was less and the effort was less than uh, we expected in the, uh, the beginning of the project. Uh, we have another a uh, feature that uh, we don't prepare this is the the balancing uh, the balance of where the applications are running in a thin client i don't know if you uh, know the thin client technology it's a central server and the uh, low consume low power and maybe uh, old uh, computers works a, a client, a graphical client of the server. But uh, with Sential and LTSP uh, as the main technology, we could balance where the applications are running, in the server or in the client. For instance, uh, in um, the browser, Firefox are running on the thin client, uh, because the Flash plugin uh, spends a, a lot of uh, resources, a lot of uh, computing time. But the, uh, the rest of the desktop are running on the server. Now we can choose the, the balance uh, for uh, these people. Another, another feature, main feature, is that um, uh, the rooms are used for public users like a cyber coffee in a, in a public center. No, it's not a cyber coffee for playing <laughs> games. But uh, public users with anonym, anonymous uh, login and uh, senior citizens with a personal login uh, for uh, like uh, students. They are uh, senior people, but they are students also. And uh, with Sential, we uh, could uh, have these uh, two different profiles and maybe have a roaming profile between the classrooms. Uh, in this case, uh, senior people logging with his personal uh, login and change 
the this is another classroom seminar and have a roaming profile because a part of his data are kept on the cloud or uh, are uh, synced in between servers. And as I said, uh, the whole cost of the project was less and very sweet uh, to the to the first <coughs> principal budget. Questions? Yeah, um, you have this LTSP project going on yeah. with anonymous logins. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is too technical, but I'm very curious about how you arrange when another anonymous user logs in. Because I think they have the same user name and password. Anonymous no. login, uh, but they get unique ones. No, uh, we identify in the DHCP, identify the thin clients, mm -hmm. and the thin clients has is own uh, anonymous login. Okay. There are 10 anonymous login per class. So, um, but when, what, what, what happens when somebody logs off and the other one reuses the same machine? Yes. How do you make sure all that is clear? Do you have uh, No, the anonymous login is no logs. Uh, there's no, uh, no login machine. There's a user one, user two, yeah. and uh, so. Uh, they don't keep data. Yes, they keep some data, data and another is clearing uh, between sessions. There's a, a, a carpet for data keeping, mm -hmm. a documents uh, carpet, a folder, <laughs> documents folder, uh, folder yeah. for uh, keeping <laughs> this data there. And this, uh, this folder, is a uh, keep it between sessions. Yeah. Uh, Which kind of operating system do you use in uh, uh, with the clients? A uh, server is the uh, server, and the client is Ubuntu desktop. Ah. In a uh, LTS. Yes. Ten zero four. Ten zero. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. How many clients have you in total? 170 in the whole city. And how many servers? How many servers? <laughs> <laughs> 17. 17. 17. So you have 17 sites. 17 Each site with 10 clients. 10 clients. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, have you any idea what is the maximum number of clients for one server? Uh, Using LDSP or Thin Clients technology directly is uh, about uh, 10, 10 Thin Clients per classroom because the consumption of a uh, network, the LAN network uh, between Thin Clients is very high and uh, increasing the power of the LAN from uh, 100 <coughs> megas to gigabyte uh, is uh, and balance the cost, <coughs> the relation uh, cost. But there's another new technology using uh, less thin clients, but uh, more thin clients connected to a middle machine using USB uh, data cables. It's another technology not based on only on LAN, but uh, using uh, central server, middle desktop, and uh, ending thin clients using USB connection between middles. That uh, allows to in increase the number of, uh, of thin clients per classroom, uh, keeping a low budget, a total low budget. Like more slow is uh, playing our server. What kind of server specifications you have for 10, for 10 clients? What kind of memory and server? That is a, it's a low cost uh, server. It yeah, has uh, 8 gigabytes, 8 gigas or one. Um, single, single processor, one processor or two? It's a single processor but a uh, quad core. Quad core? Quad core. Uh, that's an old. The first, the first class 
uh, with Goif using recycling, reuse, yes. uh, old computers, Celeron, Pentium 4, or Pentium 3, yes. as uh, thin clients, and uh, desktop workstation and normal workstation for uh, civil servants of the city council, and normal workstation as a as a server. And, uh, it's, it's running from uh, 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 28 years with a workstation, a single workstation as a server for things, thing clients and it's perfect. Is there any performance issues, any graphical interface, and games, or videos, or anything that goes very slow, or it doesn't refresh? No, 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 the, uh, the, graphical, graphical, the graphical interface is supported uh, for okay. the, the thin client, and it's also a SVGA phantom. Uh, 1024 uh, yes. uh, 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 u